Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is, they stole my image, now let's try the wig. We are going to try a wig that girl, they took my image and they asked me for it and that wig didn't even belong to them. If you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Amira, always Amira on all social media platforms. Happy New Year and what we do here is basically we do wig reviews. But what we're doing today is reviewing a wig from a company that stole my image. I've been doing wig reviews for eight years here on YouTube and in those eight years, my image is everywhere. At this point, baby, I'm sick of it. Since those images are everywhere and I know that people are buying them, I wanna see like, did you take it because you thought it was cute or did you take it because they look like the wig? Like, what are we talking about? And it could be a good wig or it could be The wig that we have today is from the brand Demisio. Hey, Demisio. This wig that I'm reviewing, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the picture right here. This is the listing. This is the photo that they use, baby. It is front and center, baby. I'm getting all the FaceTime. This wig is originally from OQ Hair. This is a 16 inch glueless bob wig. When I tell you this wig was absolutely gorgeous, the hairline was perfect. I tried it with or without baby hairs. It's a wear and go 16 inch water wave wig and it is 180% density. Now this was a sponsored video so I was paid by OQ Hair to do that wig review. The cost of that wig on their website is $187 but if you use the coupon code that they gave me through the sponsorship it is $131. Loved that wig, super duper cute, hairline is flawless was in love. I'll go ahead and leave the real review for that wig down below. Let's move on to the wig that I purchased. I am an Amazon affiliate. This is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you would like to purchase this wig, just know that I'll receive a commission on that. This wig is the Glueless Wear and Go Bob wig. This one's in a deep wave and it's 14 inches. I pur purchased a 14 inch wig. This wig is gonna be claiming to have a pre plucked hairline, pre-cut lace, glueless, it's 200% density, and the price on this wig is $64. Now let's see what y'all get when y'all steal. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and pop this wig open and see what it gives. Don't smell like nothing, smell a little burnt. Now let's see, this is the wig inside the packaging. Let's see if we get any gifts. We got some mink lashes and an HD wig cap. Super duper cute. That's all the gifts that the girls get. So this is the wig. Okay, oh girl, it's already not measuring up, honey. Oh no, Mia. When I'm already looking at the closure, baby, I can already tell it's a miss. Because in the previous wig video, you could see that the knots were bleached. These look real black. Now the hairline is pre-plucked, but the knots look really, really defined. I definitely had to tint the lace on the OQ hair wig, so we'll see if I have to tint the lace on this one. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and throw on my wig grip so we can go ahead and try this wig one. Let's see. Let's see the lace match. Uh, no, that lace is way too light, but the hair looks fine. The hairline is pre-plucked. Actually, the hair is very soft. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I was surprised. It has an elastic band inside. I'm gonna have to show you the cap construction, but the wig is has a lot of stretch to it, but it fits to my head perfectly, which means it's probably more on the small side. So I'm not sure if it's big hair friendly, but as far as I know, mm, the closure on the OQ hair wig um, you could tell that the closure is a bit longer. It goes like to right here. And this one is only like a four by four. So it stops right here up at the top. So you're gonna have to cover this up with some baby hairs or something. But as far as the hair, it's really, really soft. So I guess we're gonna go in with customizing this wig and see what she looks like towards the end. First, I need to go ahead and tint this lace. Now the lace tint that I like to use is the Dola Hair Lace Tint. I got this from Amazon. I've been using this for a while and I love it. So I'm just gonna add some of this to the lace. Oh, I didn't show y'all with the cap. So this is what it looks like on the inside. There's no combs and an adjustable strap in the back. There were no combs inside of the OQ hair wig as well. So that is similar. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my lace tint. Like I said, it's from Dola Hair. And I'm just going to add the mousse to the hair. This lace tint is a mousse. So it's easy to spread and you're not just spraying liquid everywhere. I like the mousses better because you can just look. Spray it all over. Why do I always do this? I'm not right-handed when I'm doing this. I'm left-handed, okay. Rub that in. And next, we're just gonna go ahead and dry this lace tip. I'm gonna use my Dyson blow dryer and blow dry it on high and warm 
to get this color set in. Go ahead and pop it on. I'm gonna do less of a talk through today because baby, ooh. Okay, I may be able to wear glueless. Hold on, hold on. After tinting the lace, it, it looks like it blends in a little bit. I'm, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten the hairline backwards. Let me actually take this elastic band out because it be getting on my nerves. Now really the way it's blending, I'm actually surprised. Okay, I'm a little bit surprised, but that's okay. Y'all don't get no pass because I got a little surprise look on my face. Don't, <laughs> don't get too excited, Demisio. Now let me go ahead and pull this wig back and we're just gonna go ahead and flatten the hairline. I'm just gonna use a little bit of a wax stick and just get this hairline kind of folded backwards. So the wax stick I'm using is a She Is Bomb hair wax stick. I'm just gonna pop this on. Real quick, baby, I should have did my nails before this because I feel like with these look, I feel like my fingers look like toes. They look a little like toes without nails on. I don't like it. Here we go. Gotta be careful so I don't crease the lace. And the reason why I flatten backwards is because it makes it look much more realistic to me. Just me. And it just gets the hair out of the way, so. I know that's right. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the wig back forward. Can we still wear glueless? This right here? No ma'am, baby. This was not what was happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this extra lace off. It was being lazy, girl. Just cut it. All I had to do was a little trim. Y'all was over there being lazy. That's what it was. I had to call y'all out. Okay, cool. Girl, I gotta do something to cover that lace up. I feel like I'm gonna need to pluck it a little bit because it's still looking a little thick in the hairline, but that pre-plucked Asian looks pretty good. So next we're gonna go ahead and add some mousse. Where's my mousse? I just bought some today. So the mousse that we're gonna use is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. If you don't know, now you do know. This is my favorite mousse for my curly wigs. Let me not get this hair on my face. Y'all got me paranoid. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh my God, you need to wash your wigs. You need to wash your, I probably do, but I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mousse to the hair. And then we're gonna, let it dry and then I'll be back. So let's go ahead and add the mousse to the hair. Okay, y'all, so it's the next day, right? I was tired last night. I think I started filming this at midnight or something like that. No, it was like nine and I finished at midnight. Today's my husband's birthday, so. <laughs> so I let the hair dry and now I'm gonna go ahead and fluff the hair out and see what it gives. cut this down because it's kind of like an angled bob situation y'all know how i feel about those i don't like how these curls are turning out like the hair is still soft not gonna lie but it's just like usually when i fluff out curls what i'm expecting is that the curls are gonna look juicy and these look frizzy i don't like how they look i ain't gonna lie to you mm. let me cut this down because i don't like this and every wig that i get if they're ends are like this I cut it I just can't I can't handle it so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off I can't like I just can't that's definitely better to me definitely better so I'm gonna give this wig a fighting chance baby even though I want to hate <laughs> I'm gonna give this wig a fighting chance baby in the ring okay Cree style I didn't even see Cree <laughs> so no idea what I'm talking about I don't even cut this even child didn't yes because it was those ends i did not like the ends it was look, looking a little bit frizzy i mean i don't know something about it looks synthetic you know what i'm saying that's what it is like the curls don't look realistic to me maybe it's because a deep it's a deep wave and not a water wave see that's where they went wrong 
Y'all should have chose a water wave wig, okay? Because this deep wave is not giving the same sort of curls. Now for the hairline, the OQ hair wig, the one they stole the picture from, I was able to wear the wig with no baby hairs down. You couldn't even see the closure. They concealed it very, very well. This one doesn't do that. It's not bad because the closure doesn't look too bad after I clipped off those edges, but it's not the same, girl. That picture was not depicting picture wasn't depicting what was actually going on okay so but like after the cut I just the hair looks a little bit thin I think they said this is 200% density did they say it was 200% let me go into my notes baby they say 200% density that is a bow girl that is a lie it doesn't look 200 density to me. Girl, 200 wear. Cause you can see straight through it, baby. Look, look like a Big Lots Christmas tree. <laughs> Our Christmas tree is from Big Lots. That's why she's, baby, she look thin. I'm gonna give it, hold on, I'm gonna do one more thing. See if I can um trim the front a little bit. Cause maybe the bluntness is not doing it. Okay, I'm gonna cut this down. Right. Y'all know how I cut like a professional i don't know something about it just looks a little synthetic to me i can't put my finger on it i'm a synthetica ish so i'm just gonna cut a little bit more okay do you see what i'm talking about with the synthetica look i don't know i mean i could put baby hairs down but honestly i don't feel like it <sighs> baby why y'all steal the photo Huh? I know why you stole it, okay? I know why you stole it. It's because the wig that I reviewed, <laughs> it looks better. Price point is higher, but I see why. Now, I will say that the wig is not too bad, but I'll see the, tell you the differences right now between the photo and what I got right here. So first, it's not pre-plucked enough. The knots are not bleached, okay? The closure is actually really small versus the other one on OQ hair is larger, the hairline is pre-plucked, and the knots are bleached, or they're really, really small and tiny. Like you really, really can't see them. The hair texture on this is not the same. It's hard to describe, but it just feels, um, it feels soft. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's just not, it's not laying. It's not laying at all. It's just not giving the same. The craftsmanship is not there. I'm not convinced. I'm not in love. Um, and if I felt like y'all would justify with stealing my photo, or at least I was like, I see what you're talking about. But baby, what you see in that picture is not what you're gonna get when you receive it. So, um, I'm gonna need y'all to take that down. <laughs> it's just not giving, like the curls are not bouncy. It's not, maybe if I turn it to the side. Ciao. Oh, if I turn it to the side, baby, don't trust me. If you see me walking around like this, I may take your purse. <laughs> I'm gonna take your purse, take your e-cigarette, take your jewel. <laughs> and I'll take your charger, girl, leave your credit cards. <laughs> To be honest, I think for the price, I, I think this is not bad, but I would never wear this wig again. I'm probably gonna wear it to my wax appointment today, but that's it. Something about it, I just can't. And I got this blush on my face like this, baby. I look like an American girl doll. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I'm not gonna keep working on this because I don't feel like I like it, but I mean, this is what it looks like, I mean. Y'all tell me what you think. Have you purchased this wig before? I love you all. Um, Y'all tell me what you think about this series down below. If you have any suggestions for any wigs that you see my photo on, or if you have any questions, you can leave it down below or follow me on Instagram and tag me and stuff. Hit me up on Instagram, follow me on Always Amira. Also, hit me up on TikTok, because I may put some of these on TikTok. I may, so hit me up on TikTok as well. Follow me on TikTok. It's always a mirror on TikTok as well. So anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, baby. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Anyways, let's get up out of here. I love you all. Bye.